We are facing the rise of Islamo-Nazism rising all around the world. We are heading straight into a world with a clash between Western civilization and a 7th century uh, ideology driven by hate. And unless the West rises up today and world leaders come together and come with a solution to this problem, the world is heading into a disaster, especially with Muslims developing nuclear bombs and biological bombs and willing to use it against us. Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thank you for watching us tonight. We'll have the latest on that very weird Hillary Clinton hostage situation in a moment. But first, containing dangerous Muslims. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Americans are basically divided over how to deal with Muslim-generated terror. The left sees it as a police-type deal. The right is out now war. Talking Points believes the threat from fanatical Muslims is now at an all-time high, and the world is at great risk. It is far beyond a police action. In the Sudan, a British teacher, Gillian Gibbons, has been sentenced to 15 days in jail for allowing her second grade students to name a teddy bear Muhammad. The New York Post headlined the story this way, Islamo nuts jail teacher for naming Teddy Muhammad. But now things have gotten even worse. Some Sudanese Muslims want to execute the teacher. I would like to tell the whole world that, you know, what happened from this English teacher here in Sudan is not acceptable to us here in Sudan. Now all over the world, extreme Muslims believe they're allowed to kill people with whom they disagree. They even kill each other. Thousands of people are dying and the world's response is largely silent. Remember, the Sudanese government is allowing killers to slaughter hundreds of thousands of civilians in Darfur. As China blocks action in the UN, the world just stands by and watches. There is no question that Muslim killers are a threat to the entire world. Iran is funding and arming Hezbollah, which may start a war in Lebanon anytime. Pakistan is allowing the Taliban sanctuary so it can kill Afghans and Americans at will. And Al Qaeda is actively seeking ways to kill just about everybody. With Pakistan already having nukes and Iran on the way to getting them, you'd have to be a complete moron not to understand the the danger here. Americans need to wise up, stop the nonsense, and convey a sense of urgency to Washington. We need to once again unite and come up with smart, realistic plans to engage the Muslim killers wherever they may be. Jillian Gibbons is just one small story, a woman some extreme Muslims would kill over a teddy bear. But her situation highlights the danger all of us face. Now, you heard my talking points memo, uh, Ms. Gabriel. Am I making any mistakes here? Uh, you're not making any mistakes, Bill, and you are hitting the nail on the head. We are facing Facing the rise of Islamo-Nazism rising all around the world, we are heading straight into a world with a clash between Western civilization and a 7th century uh, ideology driven by hate. And unless the West rises up today and world leaders come together and come with a solution to this problem, the world is heading into a disaster, especially with Muslims developing nuclear bombs and biological bombs and willing to use it against us. All right, Mr. Vickers, I mean, it must have caused you a lot of sadness as you being a Muslim, to see the uh, protests in the Sudan and some people calling for the death of the woman uh, who presided over the teddy bear incident. I mean, how did you feel about that? Well, Bill, I think that you have made the, uh, the classic mistake of stereotyping an entire group of people because of the extreme acts of a few. But, it, but here's where you're wrong. The actions of a few, and I look, with 1.2 billion Muslims all over the world, you're right. Most Muslims aren't killing people. But those who are, sir, are killing hundreds of thousands of people. You see, a small percentage of 1.2 billion can do grave damage and they're doing it. They're doing yes. it. And nobody's stopping them from doing it, sir. That's my well, point. Well, Bill, my point is that uh, that being the case, that's a statement about them, not a statement about Islam or about Muslims. And what you are doing and what your other guest is doing is saying that their actions should cause us to feel threatened by all Muslims. Well, and that's just patently I, ridiculous. I, I very clearly said extreme Muslims. I said it seven times. You know, yes, most, but, most but, Germans <clears throat> weren't Nazis, yet Nazism um, challenged the world, threatened the world. But most Germans weren't members of that party and didn't go in to subscribe to kill people, innocent people. You, sir, what you're doing is you're rationalizing and you're not seeing the danger because you're emotionally involved in the situation. But let me go back to the teddy bear. You should, and every, at all 
all 1.2 billion Muslims should rise up tomorrow and say, you don't kill a human being over a teddy bear, right? Am I right? Oh, I think 1.2 billion Muslims have essentially said that. I mean, No, they you, haven't. They haven't. It, we haven't heard anybody say that. Not one well, Bill, Muslim I've, I've leader has every, said that. Not I've one. heard every Muslim leader say that. I've yeah, heard well, every one Muslim me, leader sir. say that. Quote one. And in, fact, th- and in fact, those who are calling for execution are not the people who are in charge. And you know that, Bill. No, I don't. The you government, that, of, the government that, of Sudan Bill, is in charge of the case. They've incarcerated. Do you think it's right to put a woman, an elderly woman, middle-aged woman, in jail for 13 days for calling a teddy bear Mohammed? Do you think that's right? Of course not. And, and well, that's what, what the government did. That, that, that is, that is the extreme. The government did that. It does not represent Islam. Well, they were wrong. Hold it, hold it. It's an Islamic government. Muslims have it's con- an Islamic government in Sudan, sir. 250,000 people are dead in Darfur. A woman's in jail for 13 days. It's an Islamic government. That's what it is. Down and let's discuss this. If we want to talk about extreme examples, we can look in this own country. We can look oh, at baloney. some of the things. You just won't we can look confront at some of the, the reality. Things. You will make no, excuse Bill, just, after excuse just, after excuse. <clears throat> you will not confront reality. Islamic government allowing a quarter of a million people to be slaughtered, allowing a middle-aged teacher to be put in jail over a teddy bear, and you say, oh, it's worse over there. It's worse over there. All the leaders are condemned. Ahmadinejad hasn't condemned it. I didn't hear uh, Mubarak condemn it. I didn't hear Pakistan condemn it. I heard nobody condemn it. So let's tell the truth, sir. Well, you're hearing me condemn it. But you're you not you a world on, leader. If you look on the website of any Muslim organization in this country and around the world, you'll see a condemnation oh, yeah? of that. And that's just a fact. I didn't hear anybody in Al Jazeera condemn it. Fact, this is right. nonsense. Ms. Gabriel, go ahead. And this Bill, is you could nonsense. Line up, you could, actions you could line up speak every Muslim leader. Actions speak louder than words. Where are the thousands of the supposedly moderates taking to the streets, the supposedly doctors and lawyers and engineers who live in the West, who enjoy Western democracies? Where are their brains? Where are their bodies taking to the streets and sending a message to those barbarians who he is calling extremists who are behaving in this fashion? 9,000 terrorist attacks have been done by supposedly extremists since 911. Where are the voices of the Islamic governments all throughout the world? Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Dubai, Jordan, Amman, Lebanon, Egypt, Syria, Djibouti, Sudan, all over the place. This is absolute rubbish and we are sick and tired of the empty rhetoric that doesn't make any sense. Enough is enough. Enough is enough.